So earlier this week, we of course talked about the Nintendo Wii U and the Nintendo 3DS online services going down. Obviously something that, you know, the writing was on the wall with this. You're no longer able to play your Nintendo 3DS or your Nintendo Wii U games online. And there's always going to be some sort of fallout from it. There's always going to be discussion about this stuff, especially when it comes to when you have to purchase something with this. There's always going to be that little bit of doubt. There's always going to be that little bit of uncertainty, even though the companies might tell you one thing. Is that really going to be the case? Is that what we're going to see actually put into action? And the company in question this time is Nintendo. And Nintendo has essentially been caught, well, kind of in a lie about this. I, I don't really know how else to explain it. So, no, I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber, but if I have to expose things within the video game industry, I mean, I'm going to do it. I swear to God, I'll call the FBI on you. But, of course, with the dismissal of the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Wii U online servers, this was something that meant you could no longer play your games online. And we talked about it in my video. I shared some of my thoughts and my memories about this, but... There was the understanding that you could still download pre-purchased things that you have purchased via the eShop, whether it's a game, whether it's DLC, or what have you. And even if you look at Nintendo's official webpage for the announcement of discontinuation of online services for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U software, you could see here that one of the things that is mentioned is basically the fact that, you know, if you have update data or purchase software for the foreseeable future, it is still possible to download update data and re-download purchased software and downloadable content from the eShop. So this is a good thing. You know, that, that's something that a lot of people should be happy about. If you've purchased something digitally and you just haven't downloaded it or you had to remove it for additional space on your system, that's a good thing, right? Well, in theory, yes, but unfortunately, we're not working with, with theories here because in practical use, a lot of 3DS owners are finding out that this is not actually the case at all with a very popular Nintendo 3DS game that I still think is worth playing and still worth talking about just because of what the game did for handheld gaming and what it sort of added to the franchise and that is Super Smash Bros. 3DS. Now Super Smash Bros. 3DS obviously you know, for a lot of people, it wasn't as good as this big brother on the Nintendo Wii U from a graphical standpoint, even a control standpoint. But I did like the kind of little bit of a cell shaded cartoony look of this game. And of course, this game did have subsequent DLC. There was new characters added in, important characters, characters that people really like. Characters such as Bayonetta and Ryu that you could purchase through the Nintendo 3DS via the game itself. You would have to purchase it through Smash Brothers the game on the 3DS in order to get the DLC. Well, if you've already purchased this, you actually can't re-download it because of the fact that that's how the game is set up. You don't have it with like a, a thing where you can just re-download stuff from a drop-down list. You actually have to go into Smash Brothers 3DS and then choose to re-download the DLC from the game itself. So this is a lie. You know, for the foreseeable future, it is still possible to download update data and re-download purchase software and downloadable content from the Nintendo eShop. But when one of your flagship titles on the 3DS, one of the best-selling titles on the 3DS, is not applicable to this list, like, why even say something about this? And I know, I know what you're saying to yourself. Well, RGT, in the grand scheme of things, this isn't really a huge deal. And you know what? You're 100% right. I know that this will only impact a smaller fraction of people on the internet, but I don't think that necessarily negates the talking point because we're learning time and time again. If you give these companies an inch, they'll take a mile. These companies, these video game companies, are not your friends. They're out here to make money. They're out here to resell you stuff. And for the whole video game preservation people in the world, what are you supposed to do with this? How are you supposed to combat this we've seen stuff going on right now with the accursed um guy cursed farms you know we talked about that earlier in the week the whole situation with the crew the crew shutting down people are a someone actually got a refund with the crew 
um, for the full purchase price that they bought like nine years ago because they made a claim through PlayStation. But like this is just something that's going to be getting more and more prevalent. And this is why when we talk about video game preservation, at this point in time, if you don't have your 3DS and your Wii U hacked and you still play those systems a lot, like what are you doing? What are you doing? There's no moral ground to not do this. You cannot give these companies money for these Wii U games. You cannot give these companies money for these 3DS games. And even if you give them money, even if you buy the, bought the DLC, that doesn't mean that you're going to have access to that stuff for the quote unquote foreseeable future because it's obviously going to be done by a case to case basis it's a shame you know i could buy a dvd and that dvd will always have that stuff on it as long as i have a dvd player and that dvd doesn't get scratched up i have access to everything on there and i've been buying a lot of movies physically lately because i'm i'm tired of these digital purchases i, I was looking gone in 60 seconds i wanted to watch that again after making my gran turismo video it's 18 dollars to purchase a digital copy of that a digital copy that could be taken away at any point in time. You could buy a DVD for four freaking dollars. But video games, we we don't have that luxury. We don't have that 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 security blanket, that that sort of fallback point. And until it's treated like an art, I I don't know. I don't know what what's gonna happen. I mean, when you think about the 3DS and you think about the Wii U, you know, for for those. For people whose like first systems those were, if you've got that stuff when you were like ten, you're like in college now, bro. You can have like a kid and stuff like that, and maybe you want to show, you know, your younger generation, hey, this is what your dad used to play, or you want to relive some nostalgia, but you can't re-download the stuff that you that you already purchased because reasons. Like, don't give these companies an inch. You can't do it. You cannot do it. it it's not worth it. You know, you want to take the moral high ground on social media and look like a good person. I support the video game industry. If you really supported the video game industry, hot take, you would be preserving these things. You would be having a hacked 3DS, having a hacked Wii U to preserve these games. Because in 15 years, when these games are gone and all the DLC is gone and you have no way to purchase them, you have no way to play the game, you know, don't say you weren't warned. Don't say your your old weird uncle RGT didn't try to warn you because I did. And you know what? More importantly, these video game companies tried to warn you. Ubisoft tried to warn you. They don't care about game preservation. Nintendo tried to warn you. They don't care about game preservation. They just want to resell you stuff. But guess what? There's licensing issues with the old Smash Brothers games anyways. So they'll never be able to re-release these games. That game is going to be stuck on the 3DS with its unique graphical art style and no access to the DLC, even if you bought it. If you don't think that that's bullshit, then man, you might be part of the reason why the industry is going in the direction that it's going in. But hey, you know what? What do I know? At the end of the day, like I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber, you know, so so don't don't get it twisted here. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this situation. Um, if you don't believe me about not being able to read download the stuff i mean there's there's videos of it there's there's posts of it all over the internet you know a lot of people you know it, it's strange because it seems like something so small but yet a lot of people have noticed it a lot of people have already been impacted by this and a lot of people are noticing that hey nintendo was feeding us some bs with this with this you know website posting that's their own official support thing that goes against exactly what they're doing let me know in the comment section down below though what you think about this and as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. My camera was acting funny, so I just kind of gave up on it. Didn't feel like using it. So you don't get to see my beautiful face today. Maybe you will tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There'll be giveaways at 500K. Honestly, I don't even care anymore because I don't want to spend money on you people and like have to give you guys stuff. So if you don't subscribe, like that's cool too. You know, it's not reverse psychology. Or is it? And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.